What's up guys, it's Dr. Doodle and today I'll show you how to create lipid bio-layers using the pattern brush in Illustrator. I'll show you how to create a simple one and a more complicated one. So let's get going. All right, so let's start by creating an A4 size document. And the rule with Illustrator is the bigger the size of your final document, the bigger you should draw your illustration. So I'm gonna start and draw a simple phospholipid for this membrane. So you can do it uh, simply with the ellipse tool any, any way that you like it, it's actually valid. So as you can see here, I have some swatches that I want to use for this illustration. So let's, after drawing this ellipse, go with this direct selection tool, make sure this, was, this one is on and use the eyedropper tool to color this red. Now that we have that, uh, let's go ahead and use the rounded rectangle tool to create the legs, so to say, of the phospholipid. Something like this. And if you don't like it too round, go to direct selection tool, click on this circle right here and drag to make them a little bit more square. And again, you click on it, hit the option key on your keyboard, drag, and you have an exact copy of it. So now that we have those two, maybe you want them a little bit further apart. So let's uh, increase their size slightly and do the same, something like that. Um, to get them perfectly on the center of the circle, select them both, right click group, and then shift, click on the circle, click again on the circle to make it a key object, and go to window align, and um, select horizontal align center, and there you go. Now you can go ahead and ungroup these two if it's needed, but Anyway, let's just go and select them again, use the eyedropper tool, and use this yellow right here. So we need this circle in the front, so let's go right click, arrange, and bring to front. That is pretty much what we need, and um, let's just select everything. Command C to copy, Shift, Command V to paste in place, and use the, the Shift key and the keypad to move it around. Now hover over the corner, press the shift key on your keyboard and drag around to rotate and then use the keypad to put it right where you need it, somewhere like that. And that's essentially everything you need to create your pattern brush tool. So let's select everything, perhaps reduce its size so it matches more what we want in the final illustration. And let's go to the window panel and select brushes. With that illustration selected, click on this small new brush button and click on pattern brush. And it will give you an output of how it's going to look like. In the corners, it's glitching a little bit, so we don't like that. If you go to this option in here, you can select how the brush behaves in those corners. So I'm gonna select out auto between, and it's looking a little bit better. So click okay, and now that's it. Your, your brush is created. And for instance, if you want to draw uh, a figure that resembles the outside and the inside uh, space of the cell in a horizontal way, just draw a line. Uh, I'm gonna paint it black so you can see it. Um, select that line and go to the brushes panel and select your brush. And it is as simple as that. If, it's, if it, this is too big for you, if it looks too separated, you can double click on the brush and on the scale, use this little toggle to go back and it will adjust the size of the illustration for you. Click OK and click Apply the Strokes. And that's it. That's very a very simple and quick way to draw a, a pattern brush that's made for phospholipids and creating lipid membranes. It, uh, it can also be applied to other types of uh, figures like an ellipse tool if you want to draw something like a liposome or a vesicle just go ahead do it like that and click on the brand on the pattern brush and that's pretty much it if you need uh, this circle to have a, a fill you can just go ahead and click for instance I'm gonna use um, this color right here maybe since I have it already selected and let's go like that and because I use the eyedropper tool, it's going to remove the, pat the pattern brush, but then you can just go ahead and click it again. 
That's simple as that. But maybe you want to draw something that is more artistic and not just stick symbol. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do something that looks um, a little bit better. Depends on what you need and what you like. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool again, draw this little head, give it the color that I want, which is the red one. And now before I continue to draw in the legs, I'm going to go with my direct selection tool and just slightly move these anchor points around. Just make it not a circle, uh, not a perfect circle, but something that looks more like that. I like it better. And for the legs, you can be a little bit more creative and say, choose the ellipse tool again, oops, and draw small circles that are going to be the legs of the phospholipid. Paint them the way you want. In this case, I'm gonna use three shades of colors to create a, a, a little sense of depth. So I'm gonna go with the darkest one right now. I'm gonna paste it in place, and I'm gonna use the Option key in my keyboard to click and drag and just simply put them where I need them. Something like that is going to be my first layer of color. I'm gonna go and select these together and group them so I don't mix them with the other shades. So now I'm just gonna copy this one, go back to my direct selection tool, color this in the next shade that I want and just put them randomly on top of these. And perhaps another one here. And again, I'm gonna go and copy another one to keep doing this and select these four that have a different color. Now this I'm gonna color in the final shade, it's direct selection tool and do the same for that. So there you have it. Uh, now let's create perhaps an, uh, a stroke for this one. First, I'm gonna finish off by grouping these four and perhaps we want to highlight on the tip of this phospholipid layer. So I'm going to use the pencil tool that you can find here on the left. So just like that, draw something very simple. It's going to be small, so it's just a very minor detail. And let's select this to bring out our color guide. And now uh, select just this one, a slightly less powerful red. And it's looking like this. That's good. And now it depends on what uh, on how you like it. If you want a stroke, let's just go ahead and copy and paste in place. And I'm gonna do it once more so we can create a, the stroke itself. Copy, Shift Command V to paste in place, move it a little bit to the side. And I'm gonna use the Pathfinder option, which you can find in the window panel right here. Let's go to Pathfinder and select this option that says Unite. So now that we have everything as a whole um, as a whole thing, I'm gonna remove the fill and use the uh, stroke in black. First you have to select things, of course. Remove the fill and use the stroke as a stat. As you can see, there are a bit, a bit of pieces that are floating around that we don't really need or want. So you can go ahead with your direct selection tool select them all individually and hit delete. So now we have this. I don't like this spiky point, so I'm going to go to stroke and select round cap and round corner. It's a little bit smoother. So using shift and the keypad as you use with copy and paste in place, you can just go ahead and put it back into place. If it's too, uh, too thick for you, just go ahead and reduce it. Maybe 0.05 might be all right, or 0.25 if you're going to um, draw it smaller. So let's put these on top. Command C to copy them, Shift Command V to paste them in place, Shift and keypad to move them down. And yeah, now we have to do it individually. We are going to rotate them, there we go. If you're picky like me, you're going to move these highlight into the correct place and orientation like that. Or you can just let it be, it doesn't matter. And 
there we go. Two new styles. We're going to create two different brush patterns. Sorry, pattern brushes. And it's looking like this. We're going to do exactly as we did before. Auto between. Click OK. And also use this one with the stroke. Pattern brush. OK. And auto between. And there you have it. Now let's compare them all. Let's draw on two additional horizontal lines and the black strokes so you can see them. Command C, Shift, Command V, and just move them a little bit outside. So let's use the first one with these. Yeah, it's a little bit big because the, il the original illustration is big, but you already know how to reduce its size. So let's go and do something like perhaps like this. 19%. Okay, apply the strokes. Same for this one. It's going to be big, but we'll do it again. Around 20%. Apply the strokes. And that's pretty much it. One final neat trick that I've learned recently for Illustrator is you can, instead of having to go back and modify your brush, you can, if you want to change colors, just select them select the the path that contains your pattern brush go to edit sorry object expand periods now instead of a line it's actually a, a, the the building blocks of our illustration i'm going to do the same for this one object expand appearance and now we can actually go into select this um, this pattern brush right here i'm going to zoom in so you can see the changes go to edit edit colors recolor add artwork and don't worry about this menu just go to edit and click on this little link harmony colors icon and if you want let's say something on the blue scale just turn it uh, drag it let it go and illustrator will update those colors for you if you don't click this link harmony colors that means that each color has can individually be uh, modified this might or, or not be useful for you so i'll leave it up to you this black one is to increase the intensity of the colors but uh, as you can see it works when you're linking them in harmony the closer to the center the lighter you it depends on how you on, on how you decide to use it but anyway that's something that you can use that turned out pretty funky but let's do it for this one right here add color recolored artwork edit link and just do something like this perhaps you like those colors better it depends it's up to you let me know what you like and that's pretty much it you can apply these pattern brushes to any close stroke or or, or a line segment as you saw so that's it let me know what you think and see you in the next one